Sea turtles are a specific type of marine reptile, usually characterized by their protective shell. I'm sure you've seen some rendition of a turtle in the media, whether it be on National Geographic or on Disney's Finding Nemo. What you may not know, however, is that these are very ancient creatures. Sea turtles were known to have originated 230 million years ago, which means they coexisted with dinosaurs. There are seven species of sea turtles that can be found in every single ocean, except the Arctic and the Antarctic. These species include the loggerhead, the leatherback, green, hawksbill, olive ridley, kemp ridley, and flatback. Turtles fall under the order of reptiles called testudines, which also include terrapins and tortoises. Let's go back to the Jurassic period to explore this more in depth. While the exact ancestor of turtles are still unknown, it is believed that turtles may have evolved from the late Jurassic Progenochelys, nicknamed the stem turtle. To put this into context, the Jurassic period is recognized as the first period of the Mesozoic era. This pretty much occurred when Pangaea had already broken up to form Laurasia and Gondwana. Evolving from their ancestor, the Odonocellis, which only had underbelly protection, this stem turtle had evolved a full shell. This adaptation was made in order for the species to protect themselves from other land-roaming creatures. It is hypothesized that the breaking up of these supercontinents, Laurasia and Gondwana, ultimately caused the stem turtle to divert into the terrapin, turtle, and tortoise we know today. Tortoises and turtles may often be confused, as they are both reptiles from the Chelonian family. Tortoises are seen in all types of terrain and habitats, varying from dry environments to wet environments. However, tortoises are exclusively land animals and do not swim. On the contrary, sea turtles are only found on land when they must lay their eggs and spend most of their lifetimes in the sea. Anatomical differences can also help distinguish a tortoise from a turtle. For example, testudinids are recognizable due to their specific hind limb anatomy, made up of elephant tine. Their forelimbs are not flipper-like, and furthermore, they do not have webbing between their feet, making it clear that they're not suited well for sea life. Each digit in their forefeet and hindfeet contains two or fewer phalanges. An even larger distinction that can be made is that tortoises are vegetarian, whereas turtles are omnivorous. On the other hand, terrapins are the freshwater counterparts to turtles. Throughout their course of evolution, terrapins have changed to reside in smaller ponds and lakes or water holes. They are often quite small, and it is not rare to spot them occasionally in San Francisco in a wet place. Here is some footage of a loggerhead turtle. Even though the footage was shot off the coast of Honduras, loggerheads can be found in subtropical and temperate regions of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and even in the Mediterranean Sea. As seen in this cladogram, the loggerheads stem from many previous generations of sea turtles. All of them have common traits, and this can be seen in the fins and general shape. However, they also have their own mutations, and this can be especially seen in the leatherback which doesn't have a hard shell. Turtles, terrapins, and tortoises. So similar yet so different at the same time. Let's recap some of the things we learned in this video. Let's recap some of the things that we covered in this video. First, we learned that all testudines share the same ancestor, the Proganochelis. We also briefly covered how the separation and isolation of species created new ones. Next, we went into the differences between the turtle, tortoise, and terrapin. And finally, we spoke briefly about the loggerhead turtle and the differences within the turtle genus.